Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's MWF Tech Tip Thursdays. This week we're going to be jumping into our Onyx software uh, to look at the CNC editor. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is pick one of my projects. Uh, then I would head over to the panel manager. I would find the panel that I want to work on. Uh, so for example, I'm going to work on panel 70 here. I would select this, which would then lead us to the panel information page. And then you can hit the CNC editor uh, button right here. This will open up your panel in this 3D viewer. Uh, so the CNC editor, uh, you'll notice that there's a couple of tools that are specific to the machines that you guys have on your account. Uh, so for example, if you're using Howick, like what I'm doing, uh, you'll have some operations that are available. Uh, if you may be using a Beck machine or a Pinnacle machine, uh, you may see some operations that are grayed out or tools that don't necessarily work. So I'm using Howick, uh, so I'm going to go through what we have here in the CNC editor. Uh, now, this is going to allow us basically to manipulate operations, uh, double check that you know your your cuts and punches are all placed uh, as you would expect them before you actually generate your CNC output. Uh, so what we can do is open the code viewer. This is going to allow us to keep track of what's going on. Uh, so we'll notice here some of our operations are in color. Uh, if ever you don't want to see these, we have different view styles that you can change. So you can do shaded and cut, transparent, uh, realistic. Shaded and cut will basically uh, remove all this color that's in the project and you're just going to see the operations uh, like your holes exactly like this if I zoom in. There's no more colors, but you can see the actual cuts. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to put the colors back. It's a little bit easier to see where everything is. And you can select operations. Uh, just like in Revit, you can hit tab basically until you get what you are looking for as a selection. Okay. And you'll notice as I select uh, my dimple line here, for example, um, or sorry, if I go to the lip notch and I start scrolling, through the code viewer, we'll see how it's highlighted and it gives us the location of where it is. Okay, so I just zoom out here and I go pick the end stud and I select it. This will highlight in blue, uh, sorry, in red. And you'll see as I'm hovering over members, they're highlighted in blue. And now what I want to do is actually add operations. So, you know, maybe you forgot to add some holes uh, in your model uh, or you, you need to adjust something. So, what you can do is select this end stud and then come up here and say, I need to add a slot hole. You can either type in the distance or you can just manually grab it and move it into position. And you'll notice as I'm doing this, we are regenerating our code viewer, okay? So I have the slot hole selected right now. Okay, so it's in this location, 32.9. And then if I move it, it regenerates and then if I go look at it now, it's at 50.52, okay? So I'm not gonna go and do every operation, but you can see what's available right here. Um, again, you can delete these, so I can tab select and just delete it. You can move them around. Um, once this is done, you'll have a couple options up here, uh, save as draft and publish, and your download uh, CNC output specifically for this panel. Now, if you make changes, Okay, uh, everything's approved, uh, you know, everything looks good. You'll have to hit the publish button. Uh, this will get the final CNC output published. Um, and what this means is that if, you know, you made changes and you hit download CNC, the file that you're going to receive is actually going to be the panel at its initial state uh, before the changes. So you can save as draft, which will keep all the changes you've done. But maybe, you know, you need to get it approved or you need somebody else to double check it. Once that's done and everything is uh, accepted, then you can hit publish and that's going to give you basically uh, the final changes permanently to your panel. So that when you hit the download CMC, you're going to see all the new operations. Um, another thing that we can look at here, again, this a little bit more specific to the machine that I'm currently using, uh, but we have something here called trim and extend horizontals. So if I activate this tool, I can pick my end stud, pick my horizontal member, and it's actually going to extend it. Let me just close the code viewer here. Okay. So I'm able to extend or trim uh, some horizontal members using this tool right here. And we also have 
um, the invert connection tool. So if I activate this, now we're going to notice a lot of little uh, red arrows that have appeared. So in this case here, see my lip notches. Now if I want, I can change this to change the operations. So the lip notches are here now and my web notch uh, has changed. Okay, so you can change the order of operations uh, using the invert connection. And then you can just hit the check mark basically to accept the changes. Uh, one more thing that we can look at uh, for today uh, is you have your properties here that you can keep track of all your members, similar to what we have in Revit. And you also have um, an option down here to switch between machine settings. So if you had multiple machine settings assigned to specific members in this panel, you can switch between which machine setting you want to be looking at and which operations uh, that are linked to them. Uh, that'll be it for today. A uh, quick little recap of what the CNC editor is. Uh, obviously, there's more tools such as, you know, like hiding and uh, saving, going back, putting dimensions. Um, so if you guys need a hand manipulating the CNC editor and figuring out some of the tools, feel free to reach out to the team uh, or myself directly, uh, and we'll be more than happy to give you guys a hand.